Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our legacy challenge. I mentioned this in my last video, which was my not so berry video, but if you missed it, I just said that I'm really glad to be back from my Christmas break and I hope that you guys had an amazing holiday. I'm so glad to be back in the legacy household though. We have so much to go through and um, I was just going through the comments right now and I'm so glad that you guys like Rung Rungi. Rungi? Rungi. I think it's Rungi. You guys are trying to help me pronounce his name. I'm still a little bit confused, so I'm really sorry if I butcher it, but I will definitely try. Try to pronounce it correctly. So in this episode, I think we might go on a date with Run Rungi. Oh god. We're gonna have to think of a nickname. Some of you guys said we should just call him Ron. Some of you say we should call him Gigi. <laughs> I guess we'll see what flows naturally in this episode, but I do want to go on a date with him today But yeah in the last episode we enrolled Zoe in university so that she can start the scientist career a couple levels ahead um, I'm a little bit nervous about the scientist career now though because of what happened in my not so berry episode I won't spoil it for those of you who haven't seen it, but <laughs> It's spicy <laughs> I don't have a Celsius today. I actually have coffee. I already had a coffee this morning, but I was like, I got a new creamer today at the store and I really wanted to try it. So this is what we got today. So cheers to you. Cheers to this video. I'm so excited to be filming. Let's go. Mm. Delicious and nutritious. Okay, you guys, here we are in the legacy household. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking sunny. Look at that. Holy cannoli. I, whoa. I have never seen sun like that before. That's so bright, but it is summer, I'm guessing. Yes, and we have a very, very hot day. <laughs> so let's see what's going on in the house, guys. What is everyone up to? It looks like we have a visitor. Uh, who's this again? Reagan, that's right, that's right. She's in Zoe's friend group. But I did have to hop in here before I recorded this because I needed to fix Charlie's skin tone because ever since the update, it was like, he was like white as paper. <laughs> so I think, I think this was pretty close to what he had. And then also, you know what? Let's just hop into Creative Sim because I did give them new outfits as well that I would like to show you guys. I just felt, I just felt like I wanted to do, do some, to do some casts, so, and I figured the Legacy Challenge family was overdue Ooh, on their outfits, so I just updated them a bit. Um, Leslie, I pretty, yeah, I kept her the same because we just gave her a makeover. I had to fix her skin tone as well. And then Miss Wren, I gave her a few, couple new outfits. This one which I really like. I really think olive green is her color. It just goes so well with her hair. And then there's this one. This was an old outfit, but I could not part with it. I just love it too much. Uh, that one's old as well. This one's new. I thought this was really cute. I love these shoes. They're so 70s. <laughs> and then this is new as well. So adorable. Did I give her? Oh yeah, this is new. Love that and cold weather that's new as well that is not new but i love this so freaking cute i wish i had this outfit for christmas time <laughs> all right for stella here i gave her new hair it's very similar to the hair that she had before but it's just like pushed back a little bit and she has lost so much weight because i've been trying to work on her wellness skill um, she's slimmed down a lot but i kind of miss a thicker stella so once we max the wellness skill I don't know, I'll probably like let her gain back a few pounds, but yeah, I really hope that you guys like this new hair on her. I was gonna give her this hair, but I, f I don't know, I thought it was just too big of a change. But like, oh my gosh, look at how, s look at, look, just look at this hair first of all. It's such a good hair and oh, Stella, you look absolutely amazing but with this hair she looks younger than everyone in the family so <laughs> and it's a huge change but i wanted to show you guys anyway just because i thought it was super cute so this is one of the new outfits that i gave her we have that one's the same that one's the same uh oh yeah this one's new as well the washing machine is going so i'm sorry if you guys can hear it in the background it shouldn't be going for that much longer and then I have this outfit as well. This is really, uh, really cute. That's new. What else we got? Yeah, I gave her a new, a couple new <laughs> active wear outfits and she's doing yoga a lot. This is her new sleep wear. Did I give her new party wear? No, I didn't. Um, that's new, super cute. And these are new as well. With Charlie? Did I give you any new outfits? 
yeah, I gave him this one. Again, I tried to make him look a little bit more mature. Did not change that one. Uh, that's new. <laughs> and that's new as well. With Bruce, I left him the same. With Zoe, oh yeah, I gave her new outfits as well. Oh my gosh, she's so freaking cute. This is new. When I was giving her new outfits, I realized she has like no curves whatsoever. Like if I take her pants off, it's just like boop, straight down. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. It's just an observation. I think those are Zara's jeans because Zara was like that as well. But on the upper half of her body, she is extremely curvy. So... Yeah, there's that. <laughs> this is her second new outfit. I just changed the color of the dress. Uh, I changed the shirt on this one. Uh, this is a new outfit. And this one, this is my favorite. Doesn't she look so cute? Uh, I think we, if we go on a date with Run, Run, Rungi, oh my, I'm just gonna call him Gigi. If we go on a date with Gigi, <laughs> I think she should wear this. It's just so cute and so, magical <laughs> what else we got did i change anything here no i did not uh oh i gave her this really cute i changed her sleepwear changed her party wear um yeah i gave her a couple of new hot wear out hot wear out oh my god hot weather outfits and then i gave her a couple cold weather outfits too or just one it was this one she's so cute and then luna I don't think- I did not change her much. I didn't. I just felt like her outfits just really suited her and I didn't want to change them. Um, but yeah, she is like, beautiful. So very gorgeous. <laughs> and I think that's it, you guys. That is it. I hope that you guys had a good Christmas. I did. My Christmas was very relaxing. I just did a bunch of cooking. And when I wasn't cooking, I was just like laying in bed or sitting on the couch. Felt really good to just relax and spend quality time with my family. I hope that you guys had that as well. Really sad that New Year's is coming up and I'm not going to be able to do anything. This year really sucked. So it was like... I'm sure everyone wants to <laughs> go crazy and uh, celebrate for a new year, but it's just not, it's not in the cards for me. It's just not. You know, I live with my grandparents and their safety is key. So I'll just be sitting at home. You know what? I was thinking I might stream. I might stream on like during like that night. I think that would be fun to ring in the New Year's with you guys. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Uh, it looks like we've got a bunch of the kids at school right now. Everyone is listening to teacher. Fantastic. What's Charlie doing? Play Sim Scuffle. Hmm. What were we working on for you, Charlie? What skill? Comedy. Yes, 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 yes. Comedy. I had you write a comedy routine the other day. I wonder. Can we get you to write another one? Because I would like you to max that. Comedy, uh, compose medium routine. Let's have him do that. Oops, did I just, there we go. All right, and then Stella, okay, why are you so depressed? Lost in the family, lost a sibling? No, who was it? Oh, it was Ryan. Oh man, that makes me so sad. We should, um, we should spend some time with his kids, Gregory and I know that there's another one, but oh my gosh, that's so very sad. Poor Stella, she lost her brother. Well, she's working on that wellness skill. She is cha-cha-cha, almost level nine, beautiful. And then Zoe, what are you doing? Oh, you're studying, what a good girl. And you have class in an hour. Okay, fantastic. You just, you keep doing that. <laughs> and then Ren, uh, what? Oh, you're just sitting here. Okay, well, why don't we... Oh, what do you have to do? Talk to plant? Okay, yeah, cool, because I was going to get you to do some gardening because it looks like all this stuff needs to be harvested. <laughs> so we are getting about 30 grand from this half of the orchids, which is absolutely fantastic. A plus. I'm satisfied. <laughs> I can't believe how much money we have. It's honestly wild and I'm very, very excited about it. But in the state of this garden though, it's so bad. Bugs and weeds and more bugs and more weeds. Hurry up, Ren. 
There you go. Ooh, Luna notices that her chief academic rival has left her notebook sitting on the sink. Um, should we return it or toss it in the trash? You know, shoot, I don't know. Would Luna trash it being hot headed? I think she would probably return it. I think that's probably what Stella and Charlie would teach her how to do. Um, and we got a small performance gain, which is great. Okay, we still have some orchids to supercell, so let's go ahead and do that. Who's calling Zoe? Oh. <laughs> Find the kid or I will. I still don't understand why the school calls the siblings and not the parents. Uh, should Kieran invite over classmate Edgar? Yeah! Ooh, Luna invite over classmate Stacy. Oh my gosh, she met another girl at school. That's exciting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Money, 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 money. Oh my gosh, our garden yields so much cash. It's crazy. Okay, Luna, who did you invite over? There's a proper celebrity in front of our house. Ooh, who? Ooh, who? <laughs> this is Stacy. Stacy Ortiz. Oh my gosh, does she have the same hair as us? She does. Okay. Um, huh. So she can be, I guess, another another girl that we can add to the club that we made for Luna in the last episode? Roommates. So many of you guys want Luna to date Giovanna. <laughs> I think that's really cute. Speaking of that, uh, I was thinking about, I think Luna should definitely be like into girls. So since she's a teenager, I think we should put her in the closet. And then once she ages up, maybe she can come out of the closet. I think that would be interesting. I kind of want to like explore this mod a little bit more and I know that you can place a sim in the closet. So let's go ahead and set as in the closet. And I'm pretty sure it shows up as a trait now under her thingy. Yeah, in the closet. Conceal, don't feel. Okay, and then like we can just, or she can like come out to other sims, I'm pretty sure. It's like a uh, topic of conversation. What is this? This teen has become distant. Being near and interacting with family has started to stress them out. Maybe she just like spend more time with friends then. So what are you gonna do? Watch Politisim? Really? That's you. That is your uh, your de-stressing activity. Watching politics? You probably shouldn't do that. Why don't you just come and vent to your friend? And we can give her a makeover definitely. But wait, who did Kieran invite over? Where's that child? Oh my gosh, our gardener is pregnant and there goes Alice. Wow, jogging by and doesn't even come and say hi. How rude. Okay, Kieran, where's your friend? Did he not show up? Why are you two just standing there? You poor baby Bruce, you're so sad because of Ryan's death. Okay, you two just do your homework then. Felix is calling Luna. Um, I guess we can chat. Oh gosh, wow. Oh no, are they not getting along? Oh, shoot. Maybe you shouldn't have invited her over. Who's this? Edgar. Oh, this is his friend. This is Kieran's friend. <laughs> that is some outfit. So I was thinking, let's check the calendar really quick. So tomorrow is Kieran's birthday. And then in a few days after that, we've got Luna's birthday. So I'm thinking when Kieran ages up into a teen, we should probably move him in with his dad. Because we need space in the household for Stella and Charlie to have more kids. It is like a desperate situation at this point. Okay, one of you guys said in the comments that it's in the legacy rules that if you adopt a kid, it has to be an infant. And you have to randomize the gender. So I messed up. I broke the rules. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we would just be able to adopt a bunch of kids and having the 10 kids in a generation would be so much faster that way. But I guess not. I'm going to have to reread the rules. But I'll hold off on adopting kids until I like read the rules again. So yeah, we need to move Kieran out ASAP. So once he ages up to a teen, we'll give him a house key and move him in with his father. And then uh, Luna's birthday, she's gonna be aging up into a young adult. We're gonna move her out into an apartment with her friends from high school. And we will have two slots open in the house, which is very exciting. Oh, uh, Zoe, 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 go to school. Oh crap. Shoot, she's so late. Oh my gosh, you might as well just not go. Man, that sucks. Oh well. Okay, what is... Everyone is just standing around. 
please don't do this to me, Sims. Please. I beg of you. Just work. Let me clear the notifications. So many of you guys were screaming at me about Bruce's bed still being a toddler bed, but I switched it. It's all good. It's all good. And then for Ren, which skill will we be working on for you again? <gasps> Acting! That's right! She's almost freaking maxed it too! Holy cannoli, that's crazy. What are you gonna do to Bruce? Chat with him? Alright, go ahead. It seems like the mirror is <laughs> occupied right now with Charlie. I think I'm gonna get her one of those microphone stands that people used to practice acting with. You know guys, I have those days where I'm like on it with filming everything just comes out so very naturally. I don't have to think about what I'm gonna say, but there are certain days where I'm just like fumbling over my words. I never know what to say. And I'm having one of those days today. So I apologize if I seem a bit off. What am I looking at City Living for? I'm supposed to be looking at Get Famous. All right, let's see. Where's the microphone? Oh, here we go. Look at that. Hashtag basic microphone stand. Some might consider being basic a bad thing, not this microphone stand. It reveals, it revels in such a title, exalt, okay, what? Unlocked by reaching level eight of acting skill. Okay, yeah, let's grab her one of these. Where do we want to put it? <laughs> Maybe we should put it in her own home. <laughs> She's like never in here. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna put it right there. I wonder if this like does anything for us. Like maybe it builds skill faster. I don't know, we'll see. Yee, let's get it. Let's max that skill, Ren. All right, so Zoe, when is your next class and have you done homework for it? I really need to like focus on this a bit. Class in 15 hours, two days, 17 hours, two days. Okay, so you need to do homework for magnets and mechanics. All right. Crap, where's your homework at? No. You can't just go and leave it places. Well, shoot, we're gonna have to buy some more from the bookcase, I think. Ah, here we go. University homework. Okay. It's weird. Stella has this thing, feeling hurt by someone nearby, like she has like a negative sentiment with someone, but she doesn't have any. It doesn't show. That's really weird. I don't know what that's about. And then Luna, how's that writing skill coming along? Writing level seven, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Keep writing, my girl. Let's write, oh, we have a resume. Let's resume that. Oh, 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 we need the basketball hoop <laughs> from the 100 baby challenge. So if you, hold on. If you have a basketball hoop and you do dream big on the hoop, it, increases your fitness skill by so much. It's honestly crazy. Um, so I think I'm gonna try and do that with every single one of my Sims, just like max that fitness skill real quick. Where should I put it though? There's like no room for basketball court. I could put it here instead of the horseshoe thing for now. All right, hopefully it's, it's workable because we are trying to max the fitness skill for Zoe. I'm gonna let her finish her homework though, and then we'll like give it a shot. Oh my gosh, Charlie just started autonomously doing yoga. He was like, you know what, Stella's always doing this. I'm gonna give it a shot, see what the big deal is. Oh honey, your butt cheek CC clipping is <laughs> cracking me up. Why is Tina Tinker here? Very random. Hi there, neighbor. Do I hear the sizzle of something broken? I don't know, do you? I guess go ahead and invite her in, Charlie. Why not? Charlie, did you max your fitness skill yet? Level four. Okay, let's see. Let's see what Dreaming Big with you does because you're not doing anything. But yeah, if you if 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 a teen sim, if you're trying to get them to level four in something, if you make them dream big over and over and over again, they will get to like a level five fitness in like five seconds. It's really crazy. So let's see. Let's see if how fast it goes up for an adult. Yeah, there it goes. 150%. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, keep going, Charles. Keep, see, look at that. Look at how freaking fast that goes up. I I can't believe I've waited this long to do it in Legacy Challenge. Stupid, stupid of me. All right, Zoe, your turn. Oh, there goes Rosie. Cute. All right, let's see if she maxes her fitness skill. Oh my God, she actually made the dunk. Oh and yay, she's wearing the new fitness outfit I gave her. You go, girl. Dang, she's making it every time. 
Oh, yay! Zoe, or Luna finished her book. Let's go ahead and, um... Publish it! Yeah, girl! Publish that book! Sell the publisher. Mama doesn't love you anymore. She is a one- she's a one-star celebrity, right? Oh, no, she's not. How is she not famous from her books yet? We've published so many. There she goes, she's almost level 8 and she just got level 7. I don't know why this is so overpowered, but it is. Uh-oh, uh-oh, she's so iconic, you guys. I love her. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I want to get a good pic of her dunking it. Oh man, the spin and everything. She's almost level 9. This is just ridiculous. I'm gonna do this with every sim. It's just like free points. Oh no, she sprained her ankle from failing to dunk. You gotta keep going though. You at least gotta get a level 9. And we'll, fi we'll finish this later after your ankle heals. Oh my gosh, Ren did it. She max maxed the acting skill. Crazy! When Ren's acting skills now reaches pinnacle, she can now perform drama scenes. Ren has also unlocked a special gold jacket and pants. Oh, girl. Look at how excited she is. Dang, we're gonna have to do the actress, the actress career at some point. That's so crazy. She'll be a five-star celebrity in no time. All right, so she needs some social and some thirsty thirst. Let's go ahead and drink. And is Kieran going to bed? What's he doing? You going to bed, sir? If not, we're gonna chat chat with you. Oh, yep, he's off to bed. <laughs> All right, what skill do we want to do for Ren next? We could do piano. There's a piano in the kitchen. Okay, yeah, let's do piano. That's easy. Easy enough. Oh, what's she doing with Silas? Kiss? Are you serious right now? Where even is he? And Stella, why are you outside in the rain eating a bowl of chili? Go inside before you catch a cold. Okay, Ren. Um, no kissing Silas. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come inside and practice the piano. One fell out of the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> That's funny. Sure, call it that. Already level two, Ren. There we go. There we freaking go. All right, it seems her sprained ankle is healed and she's over here doing push-ups. So why don't you just continue to dream big, hmm? And then, let's see, let's see. Today is Kieran's birthday, so we need to make him a cake. Probably Ren, I would assume. I wonder what kind of cake Kieran would like. Maybe a zombie, ooh, matcha tea cake. Ooh, yum. I don't think I made that yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. Talk about overcoming securities. Teach to say please and thank you. Oh, Bruce is so cute. And Luna's already freaking writing level eight. There you go. She's over here writing a sad book. We are taking advantage of her emotions here. I have to say, it is so hard managing eight sims. <laughs> I can't even tell you. I get so overwhelmed sometimes because time's just going by and, and my game just doesn't want to cooperate, so that's fun. See what I mean? Like, I told her to, like, do some stuff with Bruce, and they're just standing here staring at each other. I know, there's too many sims in the house. There's too much stuff on the lot. <laughs> just makes... I understand it makes sense why it's lagging so much, so... Yeah, it is what it is. Come on, girl. Max that fitness skill so I can mark it off on my list. That's all I want to do is mark it on my list. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we have to put that Ren... Maxed the acting skill. <laughs> this is so funny right here. On fire from successfully making three or making three three point or dunk streak while playing basketball. Boom shakalaka. Zoe has now just made three incredible baskets in a row. Oh my gosh. I love that. Oh, are you doing it? Teach to say please and thank you. Okay, yeah, you're just standing there, but whatever. It works. Ren, where's the cake? Did you even start it? Oh, what the heck? What is wrong? Why are you doing that? Resume. There you go. Wait, did you max your fitness skill? Oh, girl, you're almost there. Are you kidding me? Yes, go back. Go, go, go. I know that there's a storm and I know you sprained your ankle, but you are just too close. Just don't die, okay? 
Oh, crap! Oof, she got zapped, but she did not die. <laughs> Make family meal? What? Why have I never seen that before? Oh, oh, there's the cake. Okay. Yeah, what's on that? Hmm. All right, add birthday candles. Okay, fantastic. We finally have a cake for Kieran. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was like pulling teeth. All right, back to the piano you go, Ren. Charlie, what are you doing? Play Sim Scuffle. What is with you in Sim Scuffle? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna need you to compose another comedy routine. <laughs> and Luna freaking wrote the computer to death. Just replace that for her. Dude, I don't know what Zoe keeps doing with her homework, but it's gone again. And there you go, girl. Mastered the fitness skill. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think this was her first skill that she has maxed as an adult. It is. Oh my gosh. That is so very exciting. Okay. So next up for her, I think we will do logic. I think that makes the most sense, which means we need another chess table. I don't know why I got rid- oh my god. I always accidentally press the travel button on the keyboard. <laughs> we had a chess table, but it's gone now. Yeah, I did need something else to put in the living room here now that the Christmas tree is gone, and this is a perfect spot for a chess table. There's so much stuff in this fridge. I'm just gonna put it out for when we celebrate celebrate good times come on dun 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 all right we got a fruit pie we got some banana bread bomb chicken stir fry and a matcha tea cake fantastic and with kieran yeah we maxed the motor skill which is fantastic um i wonder if we can match this max the social skill before we age him up I'm gonna give it a shot. We have until 2 a.m. Oh my God, Charlie is playing Sim Scuffle again. <gasps> this dude, I swear. Oh look, Stella has an, a job offer from Donna. This is uh, Lilith's daughter? Entertainment business. I mean, that would have been perfect for Charlie, but Stella? What are the branches of the entertainment business? Oh wait, she's getting another one right here. What is this one for? Lead detective? None of, neither of these jobs really suit her, huh? Dang. I'll wait. I'll wait for a good one. All right, they're back. So, Kieran, I'm gonna need you to immediately work on that social skill. Let's do- let's work on it with, uh, Bruce! So that he can also level up in his social skill. Come inside, boys! Joke about bananas. I think when Bruce ages up, him and Kieran can be the best of friends so that we can see Kieran more. I feel bad just like being like, okay, go live with your dad, but he's not really part of the main challenge and we need to have those 10 kids. Ooh, comedy level eight. There you go, Charles. Very good. And look at that. He's almost level 10. We're definitely getting this. Yes, we did it. Okay. Social. All right, so for Kieran, we've got movement, potty, thinking, motor, and social. Fantastic. Okay. Well, we can age him up now. So, hmm, I should have everyone come in the room and cancel whatever it is that they're doing. All right. I queued up a celebrate for everyone. Let's see if they all come and watch Kieran blow out the candles. Okay, here we go. Happy birthday, sir. Come on, everybody. Yay! There we go. What is happening? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see what he looks like. I'm so nervous. What is this nonsense going on right here? What is that? Oh my gosh, you're so pretty! <gasps> oh my gosh! He looks like a straight up girl. Okay, all right. Um, shoot. I don't remember his dad's traits. Crap. Okay. I might have to give him something random until we, uh, and then change it later because I do not remember. Okay, yeah. I just gave him something random for now. Let me figure out what his dad's traits were and then we'll, we'll change it. Okay, here we go. Insider, outgoing, and romantic. 
All right, you guys, I inputted it here into the legacy trade randomizer thingy. <sighs> so let's go ahead and see what his teenage aspiration is and his second trade. I'm very nervous, but let's go. I kind of want him to get romantic. Goofball! Master Chef is his aspiration. He's a vampire and he wants to be a master chef. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he'll make like a vampire cookbook or something, like where his main ingredient is plasma fruit. I don't know. That doesn't really make sense. It kind of bums me out a little bit, but. It's fine. I'm a little bit worried about him. I thought he was going to come out looking super snatched, but let's just see. I think it's the pink browser throwing me off. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Okay. So we're going to get rid of this trait and give him the goofball trait. Uh, and then his aspiration is going to be Master Chef. Okay. All right, sir. Let's have a look at you then. Let, can we just take off all this nonsense? Because it's so very distracting. Okay, he looks a lot like his dad. I don't really see any Ren in him besides the yellow eyes. I'll give him Ren's skin detail and still not seeing a lot of her there. What a bummer. Okay, it's getting better. It's definitely getting better. And if I remember correctly, he was covered in freckles as a babe. So we'll keep that going. Yeah, I think it was these freckles, and he had... His hair was kind of like Ren's color, so we'll try and keep that going. Okay, you guys, this is what I have for him, for his skin details, his hair, his brows, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and try and find you something to wear now, my boy. He has a really thick neck <laughs> and, like, tiny shoulders. <laughs> But that's fine. So I remember when Kieran was born, a lot of you guys wanted him to be like this ladies man, like bad boy type. So I'll try and dress him like that. He's like, he's so skinny. I expected him to be more on the buff side because of like how big his dad is. Like buff, he's very buff. <laughs> For his dark form, I think it would be kind of cool to give him some crazy looking eyeballs. What do y'all think? Um, how about... Hmm, those are pretty cool. I think I want to do those. Okay, so he's done. Here's his normal form. I really like the beret. I think it uh, adds a little something something. All right, perfect. He is all done. I hope that you guys like him. A master chef, huh? <laughs> that really doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Okay, so is there anything in his inventory that we need? It doesn't look like it. Oh, he got the lover and the innocent traits from, <laughs> from Wonderful Whims. I love that. So he's going to be living with his stepmom, Adeline, and his stepbrother, Rylan, and his stepsister, Evelyn. Or no, why am I saying step? Half-brother, half-brother, Rylan and half-sister Evelyn, and yeah, this is his stepmom. Internet superstar, what the heck? That's so weird. <laughs> All right, let's go to manage worlds and switch him to that household, and then we'll give him a residence key. Ooh, I can't believe we're gonna have another spot open. Maybe we should move out Luna before Stella gives birth so that maybe she has a chance of having twins. It'll be the first twins in the entire Let's Play. I don't know why, like, everyone always has twins. It never happens to me, except for in 100 Baby, of course, but <gasps> it never happens to me in my other Let's Plays, and I'm sad about it. All right, so where, where are they? Here we go, the Stanford family. All right, Kieran, well, I hope you enjoy yourself over there. You'll have other teens to hang out with. Um, we got to give him a residence key so that he comes around all the time. Goodbye, Kieran. <laughs> I feel like we didn't really get that close to him. Oh, they're going to have two doggies too. Jill and Sam. Cute. All right. Everyone say bye to Kieran. We'll see you around. We were able to max five skills with him. So he definitely contributed to the challenge in, in a big way, actually. I'm stoked.
So Luna's birthday is in two days, so I think I'm gonna wait to get Stella pregnant so that we have a chance to have twins. Where's Kieran at? I need to give him a residence key. She says, I'm gonna miss you, son. Please, please, please come and visit whenever you want. There is always room for you here. And of course she didn't give him the key. <laughs> Give him the key! Oh my gosh, he whipped out a piece of clay. I haven't seen a sim do that in so long. Why? Why are you doing this? I have... <laughs> I have bad feelings. <laughs> Come and visit whenever you like. You're always welcome here. I love you, son. I'm so proud of you. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> All right, so do you think I should get out of the house more? What the heck, Charlie? No, well, you're asking, oh, you're asking Caden that? Yes, why do you even have to ask? Oh my gosh, why are you asking him that? <laughs> that is so weird. You guys, look who's here. Caleb showed up. Ren, come say hello. Brighten his day. Uh, let's invite him in. Oh no, okay, goof around. We should give him a new, another makeover as well. I think he could use it. It's been a while. 60 grand from investments this week. That's insane. Ooh, what's this? I hear you've been building your magical prowess. Would you like to put it to the test and duel me at the grounds? Okay, I didn't even know that was a thing. Someone just invited us to duel. How can we turn that down? Okay, we're here. Time to go to the duel. Shabam. Dun 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 dun. Oh, <laughs> we're definitely gonna win. Oh gosh. All right, let's see what you got, Myra. Let's see it. Stella, I believe in you. I know you can do this. <gasps> I'm gonna be so embarrassed if she loses. You guys don't even know. Yes, girl! That's my girl. Mm-hmm. I knew you could do it. I didn't doubt you for a second. <laughs> oh, is she complimenting us? Oh, she just asked us a question. Dag, dag. I wonder if Rangi's here. Rungi. GG. <laughs> All right, let's head home. I'm gonna go ahead and check and see if Zoe has school. If she doesn't, I say we go on a date and see how they interact romantically. Or should we go to the magic realm? Decisions, decisions. I love that you guys love him though, even though he's hot-headed. <laughs> bring He can bring a little spice, like literally spice because he's hot. Headed. <laughs> All right, we are home and we have class. Oh shoot, we've got class in 12 hours and we haven't even done our homework. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do our homework and then maybe after class tomorrow we can, we can hang out, but we gotta buy homework again because she freaking lost it again. Ooh, Stella has three talent points. Oh, that's exciting. What should we do? All right, maybe we should work on this branch of the tree. I'm not really sure what this is, but let's go ahead and buy all three of those. So she now has the Sims can now cast Discharge, which empties Spellcaster Charge. Um, casting a spell now adds significantly less Spellcaster Charge. And then we have Sim can now cast long distances without having to move closer. Also, Sims no longer know who to cast a spell on them, so they won't react neg negatively to you. Oh, that's interesting. Look at Caleb practicing his yoga on our yoga mat. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh, what? Charlie, what did you just do? You're really handsome, Charlie, and I enjoy being with you, but I don't really feel a deep connection right now. What did you ask him? Oh, he probably asked him how he felt about their relationship. Why are you doing that, Charlie? What the heck? Why is there always a storm? It's really annoying. You really think you look good in that outfit. Luna, why are you being mean? That's your sister, you need to be more nice. Charlie's playing Sim Scuffle again. 
When Charlie loves something, he really, really loves something. First it was the cart, the flower cart, and now it's Sim Scuffle. <laughs> All right, so Luna finished another book. So I'm gonna get her to come out here yeah, and sell to publisher. And she needs some sleep. Does she have any potions of plentiful needs? She does! So go ahead and drink that, and then you should probably do your homework. What grade do you have? A! Fantastic! <laughs> I don't even need to worry about you. I'm just having Zoe work on her logic skill, and I'm having Leslie work on her social skill with Ren. <gasps> you guys! Oh my gosh, my camera. You guys! Luna's a notable newcomer now. Oh my gosh, my heart. My heart, my heart, my heart. She's gonna be a famous writer. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm so happy for her. All right, Brucey Bruce, have you done your homework? Where even is your homework, sir? Ah, <sighs> these sims. Oh, there it is. Good, 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 good. Did you do it, though? Just go ahead and breeze through it. Leslie, did you do yours? Yeah, you did. I'm having Stella do yoga. I just want her to max this wellness skill already. She's almost there, halfway to level 10. So just keep on going. And Charlie, I'm still working on his comedy. He's almost maxed it. Yo, you gotta max it. You just gotta keep going. And then after that, I think we'll work on your fitness skill. And then after that, we'll try and max your parenting skill. And then after that, we'll try and max your vampire lore skill. Okay, bye children. Have a great day today. Listen to teacher. Get those grades up. But Brucey Bruce, you're a B student, so you still need to listen to teacher. Luna, hmm. What do we want to do for you? What can you do at school? What, what happened? Yes! Comedy level 10, Charles. That's what I like to see, sir. It is so satisfying writing it down on the little notes here when someone maxes something. <laughs> All right, he's feeling tense from being psyched out. Okay, what were we doing next? Fitness, right, 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 right. There's a quick way we can do this and that is dreaming big. So come on, sir, come out here. Dream big, dream as big as possible. Let's max that fitness skill. Then Ren, oh my gosh, Alice is here? Oh no, you're just thinking about her. Okay, let's go ahead and get you to practice your piano. Stella, hmm. let's practice yoga some more. <laughs> you're tired, but I need you to practice yoga. I need you to max that wellness skill. And Zoe, when do you have class next? 10 minutes, all right, go, go to class, go to class. Be early, come on girl, be early. Happening now, yes, go. Go to class. Have a good day at school, love. When you get back, we will go and hang out with Rang Gigi. <laughs> Take notes, yes, who's calling? Some kid threatened in Leslie and took her lunch. Find the kid or I will, most definitely. Look at this, she made $309 from that most recent book, holy cannoli. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Rosie, Rosie is pregnant. Girl, you have a, you had a girlfriend. What happened to your girlfriend? And Paul is inviting Zoe out on a date. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Who's the dad? Who is the father? Osvaldo Knox. Osvaldo Knox is an alien. Oh my gosh. Lilo, no, not Lilo. Rosie is having a baby with an alien. Wow. That is quite spicy. I swear. I wonder what happened to her girlfriend. And if Rosie's still in uni, are they gonna kick her out? Oh gosh. Okay, Zoe is back. She doesn't have class at, again today, does she? Four hours, shoot! Okay, after that class then. <laughs> Felix came to visit! Oh my gosh, Stella, come say hi, come say hi, come say hi. Let's give him residence keys. Um, let's have a deep conversation with him. Dude, did homegirl have a kid yet or what? Hmm, I need to know. You guys, I did not know that yoga could like make a sim so fit. I thought it was just exercising on the treadmill and lifting weights, but I guess not. All right, how's this fitness skill going? Level seven. <gasps> you guys, look! <laughs> the 
that bike was being pedaled by itself. <laughs> Can this chick stop running by without a shirt? Like, what is she trying to do? Ren is halfway through the piano skill. Good for her. This episode is so much skill building, you guys. What should we do with, with Gigi? Poor Paul, I feel so bad. We should probably invite him over and ask him to be just friends. There you go, Charlie, level eight. Ooh, potion of rejuvenation, what's that? She just learned it. A potion to allow a sim to remain at their current age. Is that like potion of youth? Is that against the rules to use? <laughs> also this one too, a potion to prevent death from old age, but for how long though? I'm very curious. All right, Miss Zoe, you just reached level six logic. Fantastic. And you have class in an hour. So let's just make sure you're prepared for that. Your homework's complete. Okay, good. Ooh, Bruce is level eight motor skill. There we go. And Leslie's now a B student. Bruce is an A student. Dang, you guys. We're killing the game. Killing it. For Luna's aspiration, she wants to write five good books. Five good books. What makes a book good, I wonder? Ooh, she can write a workout guide because she's feeling energized. <laughs> Golly Zs. Okay, sure. All right, she's back. She's back, she's back, she's back. How's your mood? You're just a little bit hungry. So I say that we go out to eat with Gigi. Nothing too fancy, just cause they're like not even a couple yet. Just something very casual, just chilling, you know? Do I have anything in Strangerville? My favorite place. Outdoor restaurant, Chez, Chez Le Lama. Probably not that one, that's like way too fancy. What else we got? Flamingo juice tiki bar, that looks super fancy. Outdoor cinema. Oh, Nobu. <laughs> It's all so fancy. Shoot, I need to place some new lots. Okay, let's try this Eden Cafe and Bistro. <sighs> I really hope they get along though. Fingers crossed, because I really like him. Something about a spellcaster couple. Let's just ask him about his interests. Let's tell him a knock-knock joke. Hey, sir, how you doing? It's good to see you again. <gasps> they already got a sentiment? Wow. Good for you guys. Let's flatter him a little bit. Tell dramatic story. Compliment his outfit too. All right. Oh my gosh. Look, this chef is wearing a very formal gown. And we've got a, a naked celebrity here. <sighs> Let me just help you out there. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get... Ooh, let's get a scone. I would get a cannoli, but I always get a cannoli when we go out. Where's our scone? I told you to get a scone, not a pan de chocolate. Okay, where's our date? Where is he? Oh, silly girl. Very silly girl. I don't really like coming to cafes with my dates because it's just like awkward and they never sit together and i don't know oh look jules is over there and he's sparkling with all the butterflies how cute <laughs> all right they are sitting together finally let's just get him to know get to know him a bit what's this warm surroundings from warming lamp nice I really want to ask him, like, what his preferences are, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Okay, I told her to flirt with him, so let's see what happens. These flowers are just- this is what she sees. <laughs> oh my god, how awkward. He's so cute though, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. And it looks like he took the flirt, which is good. That's a good sign. Where are you going? No! Sit back down right now. Aww. All they're focused on is eating stuff. <laughs> Come on. I just want you guys to hang out. That's it. Oh my gosh, she's thinking about a baby diaper. Oh boy. Okay, I told her to ask him about relationship. Let's see what he says. I think I need more time to come up with an answer for you. Oh, well, I guess they don't really know each other, so I guess that makes sense, but still. All right, well, let's head home then. 
We planted the seed and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully he texts us and is just like, I like you as more than a friend. <laughs> also, what day is it? Can we age up Luna yet? Crap, we haven't mastered her writing skill though. Shoot, we need to do that before we move her out for sure. So it might have to wait until the next episode. All right, you guys, we are back home and she's feeling so happy from that date. So I'm happy for her. Luna, are you still writing? No, you're chatting. No! <laughs> well, resume writing that fitness guide. Shoot, yeah, it is her birthday today, but it's 1 a.m., so we have 24 sim hours to max her writing skill. Oh, gosh, I hope we can do it. I really do. Oh, you guys, look who it is. Mr. Max. Hi, sir. What's this? Relax and sauna for being tense. Why are you tense? You're doing- you're writing. Worried for- Oh, Okay, she's tense because she's in the closet. Well, that's pretty cool that she got a mood lit from it. I think I might save all of this for the next episode just so we have like a really packed one. So we're gonna max Luna's writing skill. What else? Age her up. Hopefully uh, she can come out of the closet and then maybe ask Giovanna if she wants to be her girlfriend and then move her out with her and Irene. What else did we want to do in the next episode? Probably go hang out with Rangi some more. Gigi. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. This is going to be very difficult for me. <laughs> um, hopefully Max uh, Stella's wellness skill as well. What are you doing? Hear bad news from Luna? No. Nope, nope, nope. Practice your yoga. And then what, what were we doing for Charlie again? Oh yeah, his fitness skill. Hopefully do that as well. This episode was a ton of skill building. I'm sorry if it was kind of dull, but we need to have these episodes every once in a while. And something crazy hasn't happened in so long with this family and that really uh, shocks me. <laughs> there was a point where something crazy was happening like every every episode. I, my heart couldn't handle it though. She finished her book so we're gonna go outside and publish it but I want her to level up first before we do that. There you go. She can now write mystery. She can also submit to literary digest. Exciting. Ooh, Stella got a lifestyle! Energetic lifestyle. Okay, let's see what that is. Oh, just kidding. Wait, people prison in progress? For Luna? I really did not expect that, but okay. So let's sell Golly Z's to publisher and then submit book copy to Literary Digest. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Maybe we should do that. Okay, let's do that for her fitness guide that she just wrote. <laughs> so random. I'm gonna get her to write a motivational book since she's feeling confident. Mind over muscle, sure, whatever, that's fine. Okay guys, you know what? I'm gonna leave this part right here just so the next episode we can have a bunch of things happen and my memory card is almost full. That's the first. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this very calm skill building episode. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video, which is going to be Mystical Motherhood. I think it might be one of the last ones. We're gonna have this one and probably the next one and that's it. Pretty crazy, but it is what it is, you know? Let's plays do have to come to an end at some point. All right, I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.